The drug company Mylan just finalized a $465 million settlement for overcharging the government for EpiPens. Uh, the initial lawsuit ignited a firestorm over the drug's skyrocketing price. The cost of an EpiPen has shot up over 500% over the past 10 years. Now tonight, Joanne Burton is here with some cheaper alternatives so you don't waste your money, Joanne. Yeah, Stephen and Carolyn, this is a life-saving drug, and many families can't be without it. So tonight we are looking at some other lower-cost options for people who need those injections to stay alive in an emergency. With the school year well underway now, along with their backpacks and lunch bags, some kids bring a life-saving epinephrine auto-injector like an EpiPen with them. While the number of options and availability of these devices has improved, they can still be expensive, especially since families often need multiple injectors. There are four different epinephrine auto-injectors available. They all work slightly differently, but they contain the exact same drug in the same dose. What's best for you will really depend on if you're insured and what's covered. Drug manufacturer Mylan started making a generic version of EpiPen in December with a retail price of $300. There's no difference between the two versions of EpiPen. Mylan offers some discounts, and if you're uninsured or underinsured, you may be eligible for free EpiPens through its patient assistance program. Back on the market in February, AviQ uses voice commands to guide a person through an emergency. If you have insurance, a manufacturer discount could reduce your cost to zero. If you're uninsured, you may pay either zero or $360, depending on your household income. Another option is generic Adrenaclick, which has a special deal with CVS pharmacies for $110. But a manufacturer's discount coupon gets the price down to 60. Any of these devices could save your life in an emergency, but it's really really important to understand how the device you're prescribed works. To avoid potentially deadly mistakes or injuries, Consumer Reports strongly recommends asking your doctor or pharmacist for a training with your new device. Consumer Reports has another epinephrine option called Simjepi could hit the market before the end of its, the year. It's expected to be a pre-filled syringe, not an auto injector like the others, and it could be a good lower cost alternative. I'm Joanne Purton. Stephen, back to you. All right, Joanne, thanks. The way forward.